Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at E-Trailer, and today we're taking a look at how the Hollywood Rack's Destination E two-bike platform rack fits on the 2022 Honda Odyssey. So the Destination E is an impressive bike rack just because of how it's designed for those heavy electric bikes. We're going to focus on how it works with the Honda Odyssey. If you want an in-depth review of the specs, measurements, dimensions, check out our full review here at eTrailer.com. So with the 70-pound weight capacity, the 4.5-inch tire width capacity, and the included ramp, it's a special for those extra heavy electric bikes. I don't have a heavy electric bike on here right now, but that's to show off the versatility as well. Now, the biggest thing that impresses me, though, is its tilt away function. So let me show you how that works. It's a little bit of a process compared to some of the other bike racks, but I personally think that it's worth it. You start with this knob right over here. You're gonna wanna loosen that knob just enough where you can then push it away from your vehicle, like that. And just like that, your bike rack is now ready to tilt away. You can get yourself set up, get yourself into position so you can push the bike rack all the way down. When you have a total of 140 pounds of bikes on there, it's great that you have that option to just push it away from you and you don't have the bikes coming down at you. But you can see here, we now have plenty of space to grab our extra large items from our extra large cargo area. So if you need to put away groceries, grab your backpacks, your helmets, your waters, you can do so without having to take your bikes off. Now to bring it back up, you can either push up from over here or pull from the vehicle if you need to brace yourself. It settles into place. You just bring that knob right back in and then tighten it down so it's all secure. Now, in order to take your bike off though, there's a couple of straps that you're gonna have to go through. There's one, two, three wheel straps and then there's your frame mount. So we're gonna start here at the wheel straps. You press this lever that disengages the strap so you can pull it up and then I like to tuck it out of the way. Press the lever, pull on the strap and tuck it away. And here's our third strap. Press that, lift it up. Notice how there's a little bit of a rubber pad there because it's gonna sit on your wheels. Before we get to the frame mount, we're gonna set up the included ramp. So this has a little knob here at the back. Just loosen that, and that way this can slide out. So this clips into the back tire or back wheel area. We'll just let that sit there as I loosen our frame mount. So this frame mount actually has an included lock. That way you can secure both your bikes and your bike rack when you're on the road. So after we loosen this frame mount, that should be enough for us to slide this up and out of the way. And now, avoiding the pedals, we can ramp the bike down. And that's how you use the ramp on the Destination E bike rack. Now that ramp is included with the rack, but it does not secure itself to the rack. So you are gonna have to remember to keep it inside your vehicle put it in your back seat or put it in your trunk before you hit the road. So compared to, let's say the Yakima on-ramp where the ramp is attached to the bike rack and then you really won't forget it, this one you have to be intentional about bringing this along. That's probably the one downside, let me set this to the side, the one downside of the included ramp for the Destination E. The other downside is just the amount of straps you're gonna have to work with. It takes a little bit more time <clears throat> with this rack to get everything set up. You have those three wheel straps, and then you also have that frame mount. We're gonna fold this mask down too, and that involves more straps. <clears throat> so pull this strap up and out. Get this next strap out to release those levers. And now we can fold this down. Put those levers back in and then I will secure it with these rubber straps again to secure those levers. And that way we can now fold this bike rack up. So we have this knob here 
where which is a pin and a clip. So if you pull that pin and clip out, there we go. You'll be able to lift up on the rack, have this up against your vehicle, line up the holes, and pop that pin and clip right back into place. Right there. So you can see how if you want to move this from the down position into the stored position, back into the down position, it takes a little bit of time compared to those other racks. I think it's worth it just because of the great weight capacity and how it makes it easier for you to tilt your bikes away when they're super heavy. Also with it folded up like this, our rear window is completely visible. Our tail lights are visible too. You can still see the colors, but it does cover your license plate and your backup camera sits right there where that red reflector is. So you are gonna lose visibility out of that backup camera if you have it in the folded up position. So my recommendation there is just to leave it down with it with the mask up. That makes it easier all around. So if you have extra heavy electric bikes, I highly recommend this. We did install a two inch hitch receiver on the Hot Odyssey in order to use this bike rack. If you don't have a hitch receiver on your vehicle, you can use eTrailer.com's fit guide to get the right fit for you. If you want something that has a great weight capacity, but is a lot easier to use or a lot faster to use, I recommend the Rocky Mounts Guide Rail instead. That one has a 60 pound weight capacity versus this 70 though. So you have your different pros, you have your different cons. Hopefully this video helped you out and you saw how the Hollywood Racks Destination E2 bike platform rack fits on the 2022 Honda Odyssey.